UFC 297 Strickland vs. Duplessis took place on January 20th in front of a sold-out Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The event brought in $7.9 million at the gate and another $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting rights, not to mention revenue from sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters actually take home? Welcome to MMA Money. Hit the like button if you enjoy the video. Let's jump into the first fight. Kicking off the main card, featherweight Arnold Allen took on the undefeated Russian Mavzar Ivloyev. The fight was competitive with heavy strikes resulting in large cuts on the faces of both men. But Ivloyev's elite wrestling carried him to the unanimous decision victory. Allen brought in $91,000, while Ivloyev took home a win bonus and a total of $94,000. The second fight was close as well and received some boos from the crowd for a perceived lack of action from the action man himself, Chris Curtis, who took on the fellow middleweight, Mark andre Barrio. Both men turned it up in the third, and the fight ended like a game of Rock'em Sock'em Robots. An incredibly hard fight to judge, it came down as a split decision win for Chris Curtis. Barrio earned $56,000 on the night, while Curtis took home his win bonus and made a total of $106,000. The third fight was going the way of proper Mike Malott, who looked to secure one of Canada's first wins of the night, until fellow welterweight Neil Magny gained top position in the third round and rained down shots on an exhausted Malott with 15 seconds left in the fight to notch the TKO victory. Malott, on his fourth fight in the promotion, brought in a total of $20,500. In contrast, the veteran Neil Magny earned $134,000 to show and win and took home $289,000. The co-main event featured women's bantamweights Raquel Pennington and Myra Bueno Silva duking it out for the vacant title. Pennington's striking and grappling looked sharp, and while Bueno Silva threatened with several submissions throughout, she wasn't able to get the finish, resulting in a unanimous decision win for Pennington. Bueno Silva brought home $175,000 guaranteed, along with $32,000 in Fight Week incentive, for a total of $207,000. While the winner and new women's bantamweight champion Raquel Pennington brought in $200,000 guaranteed and $32,000 in Fight Week incentive and took home $232,000. And finally, the main event of the evening, Drickus Duplessis dethroned the champion Sean Strickland to take the middleweight belt. It was an incredibly close fight that took place primarily on the feet. According to the judges, Drickus did just a bit more, scoring six takedowns with two minutes of control time to eke out the split decision victory. Strickland earned a guaranteed $500,000, 42000 in fight week incentive, his $50,000 fight of the night bonus, and as a headliner and champion, he took home a cut of the pay-per-view. Based on the card's star power, I'm using 400,000 buys as an estimate, which comes out to another $200,000 for the now former champ, meaning his total on the night comes out to $792,000. And the new UFC middleweight champion, Drickus Duplessis, took home $350,000 guaranteed, $32,000 in fight week incentive, as well as his $50,000 fight of the night bonus. And while he most likely didn't earn pay-per-view points this fight, he will moving forward as champion, meaning his total comes out to $432,000. And that's all for this episode. International commissions typically don't disclose pay information, so the totals I've shown in this video are just estimates based on reports and past earnings. As always, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this, and click the links on the screen to catch up on the most recent ones.